In our devotion this morning, I couldn't help but just reflect a little bit on how we as people respond differently to whenever we hit a crisis. And you can't help but just notice how some people are in a place where they want to survive and, and feel that they have to feel, feel everything close to their body and make sure that there's nothing taken away. Do I have enough? Will I be okay? And it's a, it's a natural instinct to make sure that we can cope with whatever we're, we're facing at the moment. But I can't help but notice the amount of people, believers in Christ, that at this time experience this desire to not hold but to give. Not to take, but to release. Not, not to be selfish, but to be generous. And it's incredible to see the hearts of people opening up all over our city in Pretoria and all over the world as people start giving. It, it's in this moment of crisis that something of the human characteristic of God built into us gets evident and gets visible. And it takes a little bit of a shaking and, a, and an unrest in our midst to suddenly bring out something good that God placed within us and that only comes out the moment that we're struggling. There's such a beautiful promise that God gives us that we need to hold on to. That should be our response, our default reaction, whenever we find ourselves in an uncertain place. Because in Christ, there's nothing uncertain about the season we find ourselves in. And I want to read to you in 1 Peter 5, a couple of verses starting in verse 7, give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares for you. Isn't that great? I give my worries to God because He cares for me. I don't have to worry about myself. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, not the virus, but the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And then it, then it says, stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. How relevant this verse for us at the moment. Then verse 10. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support and strengthen you. And he will place you on a firm foundation. All power to him forever. Amen. May you be blessed as you find your hope on the firm foundation of Christ Jesus.